Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Jean if you haven't been here before. Today I'm filming a night in my life or kind of like a nightly routine, but I wanted to do it more vlog style just to like keep things real and not super edited or anything. So it is... 6 45 i am someone who likes to stay up pretty late so my nightly routine kind of starts a little bit later i think my dad's making dinner right now we normally eat dinner as a family especially lately because everybody's been home but right now i'm just picking up my room and stuff because today i've been filming makeup videos all day i filmed a bunch of tiktoks so if you guys don't follow me on tiktok you should it's at emily jean beauty and instagram um so i just cleaned up all my like mess because when i'm working all day and filming all day there's makeup everywhere table set up my camera's equipment all set up so i'm picking up all that so my room is nice and fresh for later and then also what i've been adding into my routine with just staying home so much is going on like a nightly walk i did my workout this morning but i feel like just going on a walk more for like my mental health just to like get my mind off things get the fresh air i am going to change into some comfier pants and a hoodie because it's kind of cold outside i think i want to wear new leggings to work oh work out to go on a walk I have my long ones in here. Leggings. And then I will wear my boyfriend's sweatshirt. <laughs> Olive is finally feeling a lot better now. I feel like today was one of her first days of feeling like normal and herself. Okay, she's being weird right now because she's about to lay down. Say hi, baby. But she's been very playful today, so I'm happy because the first few days that we've had her, she's just been very low energy, sleeping a lot, kind of nervous, which obviously she just got spayed and she's a newly adopted kitten, so it takes time for them to adjust. I just got dressed, got my leggings and a comfy hoodie on for my walk. I'll probably just put some tennis shoes on. But I want to thank today's sponsor, Ben Q portable projector for sponsoring today's video we're gonna set this bad boy up tonight and have a little movie night in my room with this projector it's super super cool i just wanted to mention it now and say thank you to them for sponsoring this video but we'll talk about that more later <laughs> Okay, well, I've never vlogged walking around my neighborhood, so this will be interesting if my neighbors see me. Um, but on my walks, I normally wear headphones. Today I'm not. I can just play like music out loud and I'll listen to music or most of the time I like to listen to podcasts. So I'll link some of my favorites down below for you guys. I'm gonna go this way. But I love listening to Gary V for more like business stuff if I'm really in the mood for that. Or I love The Real Real, Gals on the Go. Um, the what we said podcast with jc marie that's a really good one so i'll link some more down below if you guys want to check them out um but that's like a great way to keep yourself entertained on your walk or honestly like just listening to the birds and like listening to the cars and just all the natural noises too so i think i'm just gonna play some music out loud today and enjoy myself <laughs> We are back. Sorry if you can hear talking in the kitchen. My dad and brother are in there. It's just like been a full house lately. Um, so I like to get all my makeup off and shower at night. I'm a night shower girl lately because I've been working out so much at home. I have been like showering in the morning too, just after my workout because it's gross. Um, but I my like main shower is at night where I like do all my skincare and just like clean myself up. I love being clean before bed and putting on like comfy clothes and just being cozy for the whole evening. So I'm gonna get in the shower, but I wanted to show you a few products. If I have a lot of makeup on that day, which I do today, which isn't like super often, probably once, two, three times a week, I have like a lot of makeup on. Most other days are either no makeup or a tiny bit. If I have a lot, I will use my Clinique Take the Day Off Balm in the shower to like remove all my makeup. And then I will wash my face with one of these cleansers. I'm out of my CeraVe cleanser. You guys know that's like my normal go-to. It's the 
partner to my CeraVe moisturizer. I just need to get another bottle. I just haven't, so I've been using these two. Um, these two are kind of like my special cleansers. This is a refining micro polish. I got this in my FabFitFun box, and this is like a face exfoliant. So I use this just when I really feel like my face feels crusty or really needs a deep clean. I like this because it exfoliates it. And then I also have the Body Tea Tree skin clearing facial facial wash i love this face wash and i bought this original when i was like breaking out really bad because it's supposed to help like acne prone skin so this is a really deep clean as well um so i've been using this most days since i don't have my cerave wash and then like use this every once in a while um but normally if i have my cerave wash i always use my cerave wash unless i have a bunch of acne or i feel like really cleaning deep into my skin so um and i probably won't wash my hair it depends let's see i like to try and not wash my hair as often as possible because especially when it's styled i curled it a couple days ago so if i can have my hair looking decent then i will not wash it so i can have it already styled for tomorrow for more filming and any other things i need to do so yeah, my hair is like still pretty clean. The curls definitely just need to be touched up. The only thing is I put product in like the front of my hair today, so it's a little bit gross, but I don't really want to wash it tonight. And I just wear like a towel on my head or like a shower cap. I've been using this little towel wrap from the wet brush line. So I literally just like cover my hair and tie it up so I can shower without getting my hair wet and wash everything else. So I'm going to do that now. I don't know why I explained like so much of my shower routine to you guys just now. So I'm going to take my clothes off, get in the shower, get clean, and then I'll show you some of my like favorite nighttime skincare products. <laughs> clean out of the shower just put some pjs on so i wanted to show you a few products i've been loving i did want to update you guys my skin had a really bad reaction to a mask i used recently so i have a bunch of like really really dry patches on my skin so i'm working on getting rid of that which no i've been working on getting rid of that so i've been using my vanity planet spin brush which I don't know if I've ever showed you guys, but I use this all the time in the shower and I used it with the tea tree cleanser. So this just kind of helped like deeper exfoliate without using the exfoliating cleanser, just the tea tree one and like getting in there. So I love this. You guys should check it out. Um, I feel like I think someone recently actually DM'd me and asked me if I used a spin brush to clean my face. So yeah, I do it all the time. I like the Vanity Planet one because it has like the silicone bristles that you can attach to it. So for nighttime skincare i've been obsessed with this cheer up pharmacy eye cream they sent me a bunch of goodies and i've been obsessed with this eye cream i use it morning and night under my eyes and also on my lips because the skin on your lips is the same as under your eyes it's the most delicate part of your face so i use that on both spots and it's just my face is so so dry from the face mask I used. It was just like a cheapo sheet mask from Target and it totally dried out my skin and had an allergic reaction to it. If my skin was doing good right now, I would also use the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow at night. This is like a dewy serum. It's pretty intense. So I haven't been using it as of now just because my skin kind of going through some stuff, but highly, highly recommend this product. And I also lately have been using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. It's her moisturizer. This stuff is so rich and creamy. I love this stuff. I've been using this a lot at night, but again, because of what's going on with my skin, I'm trying to keep it like super simple and just hydrating. So I did my eye cream and then I'm going to use my go-to CeraVe moisturizer. So this is like normally my go-to. I've just been getting like more new skincare products lately. So I've been trying out stuff, but this is like holy grail. I'll put this on like everywhere. I bring this all the way down my neck and we're good to go. So I think dinner is ready. We're having nachos tonight. So I'm going to go eat dinner and I'll probably take a little clip of that to show you guys. 
Yummy. Well, we could have We haven't had this in so long. I know. Looks so good. It's so easy. It's so nice having taco meat in the fridge. Yeah, baby. Olive, come on, girl. Come on, let's eat. Let's eat dinner. Come on, I know. Here you go. Here you go. Okay, just ate dinner. It was really, really good. And I made my favorite nighttime tea. This is like a lemon ginger probiotic tea. Just helps me like digest my food after dinner, which I got from Maggie McDonald. She always makes ginger tea after late at night and it's really, really good just to like ease your stomach. Water bottle full of water and next to my bed and with me all the time because I drink water like all throughout the night before bed, right when I wake up. This is just like always ready to go. And I also fed a little kitty. She's now a new part of my nightly routine. Sorry, baby. So I feed her wet food in the morning and at night, and then she always has her dry food and water like out and ready for her to eat. She's actually underweight, so the vet told me to feed her as much as possible. I have all her kitty stuff in here for now until she gets really, really used to the house and just her routine and everything. And then I'm gonna put this more like by our side door where it's like her own little area, not in my bedroom, because obviously it definitely gets stinky in here and I don't want cat food in her litter all in my room all the time since I don't have a ton of walking room in here. But she's eating, I just ate. Now I pretty much am gonna get into bed and chill out for the night. I have my TV, which I normally watch all my like YouTube videos on at night and like literally binge watch anything I miss from that day or the day before if I didn't watch any that night. Tonight, you're gonna use my projector, which I'm so excited about. Even though I have this TV, the projector makes it so much more fun and exciting. I can't wait to use it with Kyle too. I'm so freaking excited about this. It's been charging since I was eating dinner. So here is my mini projector from BenQ. This is the GV1 BenQ portable projector. This product you can get off Amazon, which I will link down below for you guys. I know a lot of you are in college or many of you are stuck at home. I hope you're staying home and staying safe. So this is just like the best little thing to add to your routine or if you're in college to do with your friends. And I know it's hard in college to get a TV or if you just don't have like room for it, this makes it so cool because you can literally connect anything to this. You can wirelessly connect your phone. They have all the wires in it for you to be able to connect or most like phones and stuff, you can just do it wirelessly. So the BenQ projector actually has built-in apps with like Netflix and YouTube already into it, but you can also wirelessly connect your phone and use it that way. It's also a wireless speaker, so if I don't want to use the projector part, I could just use this to like play music or podcasts in my room, which is really nice, and I love the size of it. It's like perfect, sleek, I can set it up anywhere in my room and just have it ready to go to watch movies, to watch YouTube, to play music, to play podcasts, just like all around, like will literally work for everything. So I'm going to connect my phone to it right now. Turn it on and connect, uh, yay. Connect to my phone via Bluetooth. Hey baby, what are you doing? I, I could probably put it on my nightstand. Oh yeah, that works. Let's do that instead. Okay, put it on my nightstand. And then what's really, really cool about it is it has this like tilt effect. So you can see how it tilts up and down. And well, when it's tilting, to make sure you have it in the right area, I'll do that. Let's turn off this lamp so we can see better. I'm so excited. This is so fun. I feel like I'm in like a movie theater. I love it. It's with my little girl. You're being so silly. So it also comes with this case, which is really cool to bring it with you everywhere. These are the wires that also come with it to be able to connect like laptops or any other devices if you're not gonna be using your smartphone or iPhone. I'll probably mostly be using my phone just cause it's easiest and you guys know I really only watch YouTube and it'll just be easy to connect from my phone. So I think we need to turn all the lights off. Oh my God, look how cool. It's so cool and it's just like so little right on my nightstand. Okay, comes with this remote, so we'll click English. How to set up our house Wi Fi.
This is so cool. Android, um, iOS. So wireless projection for iOS. This is so easy to set up, you guys. All you have to do is connect your phone to the same Wi-Fi. What are you doing, ma'am? to do is make sure your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi that you connected your BenQ projector to. So they will automatically link and then you can use the screen mirroring. So when you swipe up, you have the screen mirroring thing and it automatically right there, BenQ will pop up. My phone is on my wall. So you can literally, you guys, do anything you want. I could scroll on TikTok but right now. And it's playing from the projector speaker over here. Sorry, it's so dark in here, but we have to have it dark. So the noise is coming out of there, which sounds really, really good. Mm -hmm. Let's watch Tara Michelle. I love her vlogs. i turn my light on so you guys can see. So now with the remote, we can adjust the volume. Turn on my light really quick to end this nightly vlog. I am so excited about this projector. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave all the information down below and the link to Amazon to purchase it. It is so, so worth it. This is so cool. I'm just so excited to watch all my YouTube videos, like huge on my closet. It's so fun. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, kind of seeing like what I do nightly, kind of more of a routine style video. Hard being home so much and I'm sure it is for you guys as well but it is the best time for us to get in good good routines for once everything gets back to normal so that's really what I've been trying to do is practice you know more strict routines with myself yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you aren't subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified when I'm uploading and I'll see you guys in my next video do you hear olive like she is playing with her little sushi roll that I got her. She is going crazy. Missy, you're so loud. Ma'am. She has such kitty behavior now that she's feeling so much better. Missy, is that your sushi? Are you playing with your California roll? Watch this. Olive. Ready? Okay, that's it.